Hello guys, this is Ali Salanki and today I'll be talking about my top 11 sources of income that even you can try out. I'll be sharing out my entire experience with each of these income sources. I'll be answering three main questions that I often get asked about. First would be the learning curve. So I'll be giving it pointers out of five. So how hard is it to start with that income source? The second would be time versus earning potential. So how much time you have to invest versus how much money can you make out of that particular source of income. And the third would be my entire experience with that source of income. So these are the three top points on which we'll be rating all of these income sources. And make sure to watch this video till the end because this will be quite an interesting video. So the first source of income for me is selling my online courses. So if you guys don't know already, I have created the basics of of blockchain and cryptocurrency course on courses.alisalanki.com it's currently live as well and you can go ahead and purchase it i had launched this around a year back and i had gotten amazing response on this all the people who have bought the courses were in fact all organic i had not paid for any kind of like ads or something of that sorts i had tried that but uh, it was not for me i was like okay let me just get organic people from uh, my youtube or instagram or wherever else so that is how the course is going in the first 24 hours of launching that course we had gotten over 250 learners on the platform so that was a huge deal for me because i thought no one would actually buy a course from me but surprise so uh, let's talk about the three pointers for it so the first point with this particular income source is the learning curve right how much time did it actually take me to build this entire course it took me close to three months to create the entire course i had to figure out the curriculum for it i had to record all the videos edit them everything was done by me scripting everything was done so this took me around three months of time but one thing that i wanted to point out was this was only possible because I have my own personal brand. There are people who are already following me on YouTube and all my other social media platforms that these people went ahead and bought my courses. If you do not have a personal brand, it becomes really, really difficult to sell these courses. I would recommend you to try out something with Udemy or other platforms which are already course selling platforms. So instead of building your own brand and creating your own website, I would suggest going ahead with these platforms if you don't have your own personal brand so for the learning curve i would give it two stars out of five that is mainly because it does not work until and unless you have a personal brand if you don't have a personal brand you have to grind a lot you have to struggle a lot and you have to actually give out courses for free first build an audience and then only start making money out of it so that is the one major drawback for this the second thing is time versus earning potential. How much time do you have to invest versus how much money can you generate? So for this particular point, I would give it four out of five stars actually because the time that you invest in building a course or building such a digital product is very less. You just have to say invest three months of your time, right? But I can then sell these courses to millions of people and make a lot of money out of it. So that's why I would give it four stars out of five. The last is my experience with this particular source of income. I would say it has been pretty great, but the only thing that I would take away from it was that I did not plan ahead for these courses. So after building the basics of blockchain and basics of crypto course, I did not make any further courses. So I should have been more consistent with it. I couldn't because I had other things to deal with. This course was only for beginners who wanted to onboard onto Web3. So so that's why I created this course and wanted to share it with them. Now my experience out of five stars, I would give it roughly three stars because first, if you don't have a personal brand, it becomes difficult. And the second part is you have to constantly market it. You have to be in touch with your audience and the people who have bought your course. So I would give it three out of five stars. The second source of income is YouTube ads. Now YouTube ads, sometimes it pays a lot more. Sometimes it pays less because it depends on the advertisers. You have to first reach 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours in order to first activate, monetize your YouTube channel, right? So that is one of the drawbacks. If you want to know about the exact exact earning potential I've already made two videos for it one which is how much I earned for 1 million views so you can go check it out and the second one was how much I earned for 4 million views so go check both of these videos out the link would be down in the description box or with the i button over there so go check them out now let's directly go over to the pointers so the first thing is learning curve 
it's very difficult right so you have to dedicate at least a year of your time to youtube in order to understand how this algorithm works how to make content how people would actually enjoy your content and all of these things so it takes a long time and that's why i would just give it two stars out of five the second one is time versus earning potential time versus earning potential the amount of time that you need to invest in youtube and building your personal brand is also quite a lot but the earning potential is also high so i I would give it three out of five stars not that high not that low the third thing is my experience with building my personal brand i would say it has been quite amazing and the only only reason for it was because i started this as a hobby for me content creation was never a business it was always a hobby even now when i record my videos i do not see if this video would bring me a lot of money or not but the first thing that i see is will it be helping people or will it add any kind of value to the people who are watching so that's my main goal with the channel as well and that's why i really love making videos and growing my personal brand online so i would give it 5 out of 5 stars for my experience with building my personal brand or building my youtube the third one is consultancy so i also take in web3 consultancy uh, blockchain related consultancy i also do marketing related consultancy so all of these things i get these clients from my youtube channel itself people message me or mail me through my email address which is there in the description box below and that's how i talk to them i do a one on one call and for all of these consultancy calls i take charge and this is one of those things wherein you're getting paid for your time and your skills the learning curve for this is really really high i would actually give it just two stars out of five because you need to become an expert and you need to have have certain skills in order to consult people on top of right so that's why the learning curve is really high the second point is time versus earning potential now even that is not high it's not scalable you are directly bound by your time so the amount of time that you give in is how much you will earn from this particular source of income so even that i would give it just 2 out of 5 stars the last point is my experience with it even my experience with it has not been that great the only reason for it is because it is bound to my time i will only earn if i take these consultation calls and i cannot automate it I I cannot make someone else sit for these calls and have them give guidance because people are actually coming and taking these calls just because I am on the other side. So that's why I would say my experience with it has not been that great, but I would give it three out of five stars. The fourth one is Watermelon Gang Marketing Agency. So if you don't know already, I run a marketing agency which is called Watermelon Gang. Now this marketing agency handles some of the biggest brands in the Web3 space, brands like Coin. CX brands like DYDX and all of these other brands as well. So we basically provide marketing related services, social media services and even handle Instagram pages, Twitter and all of these other things, right? So that is what we do and that marketing agency has been going fantastically well for now. The learning curve for starting your own social media marketing agency is not that high. but the competition in the market is so high that you need to be an expert in your domain in order to sell any kind of services right for example my domain is web3 only so if there is any web3 brand who wants to do their social media marketing or any other kind of marketing as well we provide that service so we are leading in that specific niche because we understand the demographics we understand the audience very well that's why for the learning curve i would give it 3 out of 5 stars if you're really good in your niche then it's a piece of cake for you for starting your own agency the second thing is time versus earning potential now this is really subjective now if you are handling all the things in your agency by yourself and do not have other people who are working with you then it becomes really difficult and i would not recommend for that at all but if you have people who are working with you and you have different people who are managing different brands for you then it becomes really easy you don't have to invest a lot of time you can even automate the entire process and you just need to focus on bringing in new brands and that's it right so time versus earning potential it is subjective but i would give it 4 out of 5 stars last thing is my experience with starting my own agency with starting watermelon 
gang and how it has been what is the main takeaway that i would give to you i would say that it has been great but that is only and only because i had my personal brand because i did not have to reach out to the clients by myself in fact they would reach out to me for sponsored videos and other things and they would find out that i run a marketing agency as well and that's how i got clients right so it has been quite easy for me but it might not be for you because if you don't have your own social media strong enough why would any other brand work with you right so that's why i would say my experience with it has been four out of five stars but yours might be different the fifth source of income is youtube brands now whenever i post a youtube video sometimes these videos are sponsored by other brands sometimes the entire video is sponsored or sometimes there are some segments wherein i would talk about a certain brand and in other cases there are integrations or there are small clips wherein i would talk about certain brands and that is how it works so i get paid for that as well with that particular source of income i would say the learning curve is three stars out of five because you have to have your personal brand in order to get other brands to sponsor your content the second thing is time versus earning potential it's quite amazing i would give it five out of five stars because you are basically just talking about a particular brand for 30 seconds to one minute and you get paid a lot so yeah time versus earning potential five out of five stars after that my experience with it has been quite amazing because i got to work with some of the brands which i have been using products of and uh, that's why my experience with it has been really great i would give it four out of five stars sometimes there are problems when it comes to the contracts and the kind of deliverables that you need to give uh, so there might be some miscommunication if you are not well worth with that you might face some issues so that's why i would give it four out of five stars but uh, my experience so far has been really great the next source of income is show world so for me show world is a SaaS product now SaaS products are basically software as a service products which are your mobile application your web applications and these products they have a subscription service or something of that sorts wherein you pay a monthly subscription fee and avail their services there are a lot of cool examples for this for example you have zapier which is for automating all of your processes there are other SaaS tools as well and i would probably be making another video especially for the top 10 SaaS tools that you need to check out but for now the SaaS product that i built is called show world film directory and over here you can find the contacts for all the bollywood celebrities the producers directors everyone so this is like a yellow pages for the film industry now the learning curve for building your own SaaS product online is quite high because you need to understand how to build apps you need to know how to code you need to know all of these things in order to build one for yourself right so that is the first and the biggest disadvantage of building a SaaS product you can even build it on no code platforms but i wouldn't recommend that so for the learning curve i would give it two out of five stars the next thing is time versus earning potential you do not have to invest a lot of time right now the entire show world app is automated i hardly have to look into it say two to three hours every week and that's probably it so time versus earning potential i would give it five out of five stars the next thing is my experience with building SaaS products it has been quite quite great because this particular app the show world app that i'm talking about i had built it over two years back i think more than two years back and uh, it's still running everything is going great we are getting subscriptions every single week so yeah for my experience i would give it five out of five stars i would be building more SaaS products in the future as well so stay tuned for that and i'll be dropping more videos on how i'm building uh, these SaaS products if you want more videos on what is SaaS, how to build these products how to launch it how to market it it, let me know in the comment section below we'll make an entire series for it the next source of income is affiliate marketing now you might have heard about affiliate marketing from a lot of different youtubers many people are talking about it but my experience with it has not been that great the only reason for that is because i have not put in a lot of time of myself into learning about affiliate marketing and i have not actually shilled a lot of 
these uh, websites or links that are there in the description box below i usually like to have my own products in the description box rather than having other products links so that's why affiliate marketing for me has not been that great the learning curve again it depends on your personal brand if you have a strong personal brand if you have a great audience you can basically have these amazon affiliate links or other affiliate links in your description box or even in your bio so that people can click over it and start buying products from you so when people actually click on your links and buy certain products you get a part of the commission from all of these sales so that is how you earn in affiliate marketing i would say i'm not an expert in affiliate marketing and the learning curve is actually quite less you don't have to learn anything you just have to shill these website links you just have to tell them to click on that website links and then buy products so the learning curve is quite small you do not have to learn a lot of things so for that i would give it four out of five stars because uh, if you have an audience if you already have people who are visiting your website daily then uh, affiliate marketing marketing becomes really easy the next thing is time versus earning potential so the amount of time that you need to invest in affiliate marketing is also quite less especially if you have your own personal brand if you have your own personal brand i would just give it like 5 out of 5 stars because there is like almost zero time invested when it comes to adding these affiliate links in your description or even in the pin comments but if you don't have your own personal brand then the time that you need to invest becomes a lot more and that's where i would just give it like 2 out of 5 stars because at that point you would have to tell each and every one to click on your link you would have to send them whatsapp dms or do some kind of marketing in order to bring in people on your website bring in traffic and all of these things so yeah i would just give it 2 out of 5 stars if you do not have a personal brand the last is my experience with affiliate marketing so as i just mentioned i am not an expert when it comes to affiliate marketing i have not exploded that much so i would just rate it 3 out of 5 stars although i still feel like i can leverage this particular source of income to make a lot of money but uh, as of now 3 out of 5 stars is where it stands for my experience the next source of income is freelancing and this is specifically in the web3 niche because that is where i do all of my freelancing at so i would mainly be talking about web3 development say for example making smart contracts any blockchain related work or any of that sorts is where you know i would do freelancing at i also make mobile apps uh, using flutter firebase i also make web applications using react js and all of these other things so for all the developers who are watching this video for you guys freelancing would be like the best source of income right now out there the learning curve is actually quite hi especially if you're not a developer right if you've never done coding you would have to learn the basics of coding you would have to understand how the logic works and then maybe start off with a programming language then learn a framework so the learning curve is quite high depending on what you want to build if you want to build mobile apps maybe you might have to go with flutter or something of that sorts if you want to go with website development you would have to learn react js and back end frameworks and all of these things apart from that if you want to learn blockchain development i've made an entire video for the roadmap of blockchain developers so go check that video out but uh, the learning curve i would give it 2 out of 5 stars because you would have to actually enjoy coding in order to do anything in this space if you don't enjoy coding at all then going into the space wouldn't be the best recommendation for you the next thing is time versus earning potential again over here the time is directly proportional to the earnings that you would be making right the amount of time that you invest over here is how much money you'd be making until and unless you make an agency you hire other developers to do your freelance projects it would be really difficult to remove your time off from how much you earn right so your time would always be bound to your earning potential that's why i would give it 2 out of 5 stars again the next thing is my experience in this entire field as i said i am mainly into web3 development but i also do web2 development like building mobile apps building web applications and all these other things so my experience so far has been really really good i've been doing freelancing in the development space for the last 3 to 4 years now and till now i've learned a lot and i actually enjoy doing this that's why I should just give it 5 out of 5 stars because yeah this is something that I love The next source of income is trading. Now this can be the crypto trading or stock market trading whatever you prefer but uh, trading as a whole is another source of income that I wanted to talk about. 
Now the learning curve for this particular source of income is really really high. If you don't understand what uh, trading is, if you don't understand how these things work, if you don't understand technical analysis, if you don't understand how these things work, how to read charts and all of these things, then you might lose money instead of even making anything. So I would highly recommend you to first learn about these things. Start with paper trading maybe. Only then switch over to actually trading in the stock market or trading in the crypto market as well. So for the learning curve, I would give it one out of five stars because most of the times we feel that we've learned how to trade and we just enter the market, but then we start to lose money and you lose the entire savings, right? So first build your mindset, learn how to to trade using paper trading and then only enter the market now the second thing that i would talk about is time versus earning potential now again the time that you need to invest here is quite minimal and you might only be making say three to four trades per day but uh, the earning potential is exponentially high so that's why i would say a seasoned experienced trader over here makes a lot of money when it comes to trading so that's why i would give it four out of five stars when it comes to time versus earning potential when it comes to trading. The next thing is my experience with trading. Now, my experience has not been that great, especially because I had not seen such a video before starting to trade, right? I just entered trading without doing any kind of paper trading or understanding how it works, how to read charts and all of these things. I just entered the market directly and that was stock market trading. Now, I understood that trading is very risky and that's why I had not invested a lot of money in it so i lost all the money I, i've even made a short video on that topic so go check that video out it'll be down in the description box below but uh, yeah so my experience has not been that great now because i know how to trade now because i've understood the art of trading and what mindset it requires you to have that's why it has shifted a bit so i would give it three out of five stars not that great not that bad so yeah my experience would be three out of five. The next source of income is automating businesses. Now, this is quite a different source of income than what you might be hearing from other people. Automating businesses basically means, say for example, I talk to a founder of a business and I understand how his business entirely works, where is the most amount of time and resources he is allocating to, and I try to automate that process. I build out scripts, I build out scheduler functions, I build out all these other crazy stuff which helps them automate the entire business without having to deploy manpower for it. So I basically help them save companies money and in return I get paid for it. So I've been doing this for a lot of brands that I've worked with. Because I'm a developer, it becomes easier for me to help them automate their businesses as well. So for the learning curve, I would give it three out of five stars because you first need to become a developer. If not a developer, you need to understand how to automate these businesses. You need to understand all these other softwares that are available, which help you in doing so as well. So for the learning curve, I would give it three out of five stars. The next thing is time versus earning potential. Again, because I don't have to invest a lot of time in fact i'm saving the company's time for it the earning potential is quite huge because say for example a company is allocating 10 lakh rupees every single month to achieve a certain goal or a target and i come in and i can maybe do it in 2 lakh rupees then the excess amount the 8 lakh rupees amount is what i'm saving for that company right so that is my earning potential they can maybe pay me 4 lakh rupees the half of what i'm saving for them in order to automate their business and not have that worry at all again. So for the time versus earning potential, I would give it four out of five stars. The next thing is my experience with it. So till now I've automated uh, the processes of around five to six businesses. I've helped them with lowering their costs as well. And uh, it has been quite great. I would say that it requires a lot of good connections in order to even start this source of income. So my experience with it has been quite great, but that is only because of my personal brand and because of my connections with really good people. So I would rate it four out of five stars, uh, one star because I feel that it is only possible because of the connections and there is also a luck factor involved. The last and the final source of income is running your own startup. Now, over here, I run Guest in Me. Now, Guest in Me is a club 
guest list aggregator for example if you want to enter any clubs in mumbai uh, you can basically download the guest in me app and you can see all the clubs that are present over there and maybe book your entries or uh, tables or whatever so this is a nightlife aggregator app so right now with guest in me we are rebranding the app we'll be relaunching it next year so stay tuned for that and uh, by the way the learning curve for building your own startup is actually quite high because you need to understand each and everything you need to have a really good team you need to have developers if you are into the it sector then you need to have developers really good developers actually you need to understand coding first of all so there are a lot of things that goes into place uh, so the learning curve I would give it one out of five stars. The next thing is time versus earning potential. The amount of time that you need to put in for a startup to be successful is actually quite high. So until and unless you know how to automate businesses, it becomes really difficult for a startup founder to run a startup without investing their own time along with it. So I would rate it one out of five stars again for time versus earning potential. Next up is my experience with building my own startup. It has been really amazing, and the reason for that is. because i made a lot of connections when it came to partnering up with different clubs and all of these things so i really enjoyed it and that's why my experience has been quite great i would rate it 4 out of 5 stars actually but until and unless you're not of the founder mindset you do not like the industry that you're working in you might never like or enjoy working building that startup so yeah these were the sources of income that maybe you can try out and check for yourself i hope you guys like this video do subscribe to this channel press the bell icon and press the like button as well see you in the next video bye bye